That's an A minor seventh. This is a minor seven flat five. This G dominant seventh. And F major seven. And C major seven. The third rail seventh arpeggios. C major seven. B minor seven flat five. A minor seven. G dominant seven. F major seven. Then we have way up here, we have D minor seven and E minor seven. The symmetry of that pattern, once you see it, it's pretty undeniable, it's pretty inescapable. The symmetry of the diatonic system is expressed in a symmetrical pattern that radiates out from the third rail. The three major thirds of the key of C. These are the relative positions of the one, the four, and the five in every major key. Now we add all four minor thirds, and again they're in the same relative positions in every key. Visualize where the notes are on the fingerboard, starting on the fifth fret. Moving in both directions, we find a pattern of major thirds and minor thirds. Going from one string to the next in thirds gives us a set of symmetrical arpeggios. Every note in a diatonic major key has a symmetrical or palindromic counterpart. C has the counterpart of E. G has the counterpart of A. B has a counterpart of F. And D has its own counterpart. These palindromic note relationships express themselves as a mirror image on the piano keyboard. Thank you.
If we take the note names from the key of C and express them as key degrees, Roman numerals, we can see how this pattern would be exactly the same for every single key.